Let's solve this system. We got 3x plus y is equal to 7 and y is equal to x squared minus 3. Now our first step, we want to solve uh, the equation of the smallest powers, which is 3x plus y, so that's one we're working with. And if this one has a mixture of um, powers within it, you want to uh, solve with, for the one with the smallest power. It doesn't, they're both for the first power, so you solve for whichever one's easiest. I'll solve for y. So I'm going to take 3x over to the right side. And we got y is equal to 7 minus 3x. Step 2. You want to plug this into your other equation. So our other equation is y is equal to x squared minus 3. And we just said that y is equal to 7 minus 3x. So we're going to place the y here with 7 minus 3x. So we've got 7 minus 3x is equal to x squared minus 3. And solve. Uh, so I'm going to get everything over one side, 0 on the other, because I have an x squared. So I take the 7 minus 3x to the right side. So I got 0 is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 3 minus 7. Remember when you take anything cross equals the sign changes. Always combine together like terms at any step. Uh, let's see, I got x squared plus 3x. Negative 3, negative 7 is negative 10. This factor is using the PSD method because we have x squared x, no x, no number in front of our x squared. So this factor is as x plus 5 times x minus 2. Zero factor property it says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set x plus 5 equal to zero and x minus 2 equal to zero. And solve those, and we get x equals negative 5 and x is equal to positive 2. Now step 3, we want to plug this back into the equation uh, from step 1. Step 1 will always be solved for the other variable. So we've got x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 2. And we're plugging those into y is equal to 7 minus 3x. Oops. Try it again. So y is equal to 7 minus 3x. So we have y is equal to 7 minus 3 times negative 5. And y is equal to 7 minus 3 times 2. Well, negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. So we get y is equal to uh, 22, I believe. And this one, 7 minus 3 times 2 is 6. So we get y is equal to 1. So from x equals negative 5, we get negative 5, 22. And from 2, we get 2, 1. And those are our answers. If I plug those back in here, you'll see that both of those will, will check. Uh, let me just do a quick double check on that. 15, uh, yeah, both of them check. And those are answers.